Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Managing Marriage Mini. Of course, when I began this series, I explained that uh, the goal of this study was to give you these bite-sized little summaries of our Managing Marriage uh, curriculum. These are designed, you know, the reason why I'm filming them in the, the car, not because I want to provide you with the shakiest video known to man, but because these are designed for you to be on the go, to get like a little five minute encouragement for your relationship. Uh, so they're designed for either the married couple that's already been married or newly married or been married for a long time and you're just kind of looking for a refresher or if you are a couple that is just getting ready to get married, maybe you're engaged to be married or maybe you're single and you're just trying to kind of get a head start on these things, um, they're designed for you. The full course will be available shortly. And so this is just designed to kind of give you a bite size of that, uh, hopefully to kind of get you excited for the, the larger study when it is released. But today, I would like to talk to you about roles and responsibilities. Now, last time I talked about the man's role in the relationship, and today I would like to talk to you about the woman's role in the relationship. What is the woman's role in the marital relationship? Well, first of all, I have to say that women play a very important role in the Bible. In fact, I think that Jesus had a unique ministry uh, for ladies, for women. And when you look at, even in the Gospels, you see that women played an important role. We see uh, Mary and Martha. We see uh, uh, that that God, uh, Jesus had a, a very interesting encounter with the Samaritan woman, an interesting encounter with the woman who washed his, anointed his feet. We know that uh, at the tomb early in the morning, we know that it was women that went to the tomb early in the morning. So your role as a woman is important. And God wants to use you in the marital relationship. So don't ever doubt that. Uh, you could be a godly woman. A, a godly woman with with the, the power of the Holy Spirit. So when we look at Ephesians chapter 5, it explains to us the role of the man, the role of the woman. And the woman, the man is called, first of all, we talked about that, that he's called to love his wife as Christ loves the church. The woman is called to submit to the husband. Submit to the husband. Now, when I say submit, uh, you know, some, some gals get offended by that. They're like, well, what do you mean submit? I mean, what what is he, the general or something? Is he going to walk all over me? Is he going to abuse me? You know, am I his slave? Um really that idea of submitting uh, really means to be to to submit under rank right you know God has placed the man in the relationship to be the leader and he is at the very top but remember he is accountable to God and you are accountable to God but you come under, you come under his leadership and you are there to um, respect him you're there to pray for him. You're there to encourage him. Encourage him in the role as a leader. One of the greatest things that a, a, a godly woman could do for her husband or future husband is, is to pray for him. And in fact, the Bible even tells us uh, about how important it is to pray for our leaders. Even pray for our leaders when they're not, um, when they're not being the most godly person. And so... It's your duty, it's your calling to, to take on that responsibility, to take on that role. That's a very important duty as a godly woman, to, um, to be able to submit in that way. Now, remember also, as you are submitting to Him, uh, you can't submit on your own. And really, it's not until you submit to God that you're going to be able to submit to your husband. So when you submit to your husband, you are submitting to him as you are submitting yourself to the Lord. You do that, ladies, and, I, and I'll tell you, God's going to bless your life. God's going to use you in a powerful way. God bless you. 
Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.